everyone. Today we are going to be learning how to make a frosted snowflake centerpiece. The materials you need are four picture frames, a snowflake cutout of vinyl or strong stickers, glass etching cream, a hot glue gun, rubbing alcohol and paper towels, and optional is some cardboard and pliers. So these are the 5 by 7 frames that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. So first you want to take and of course remove the packaging from the frame. Then you want to go ahead and remove the backing and be very careful as you remove the glass. I'm going to put this paper towel under the glass so that way it will be easier for you guys to see. Next we are going to grab our uh, rubbing alcohol and we're going to use that to clean the glass. We want to make sure that the vinyl will stick really well to the glass so that we won't have any ghosting um, or any of the cream getting under where the snowflakes are supposed to be. Once you make sure that it is dry, you can go ahead and remove your vinyl or your stickers and apply it to the glass. So once you apply it to the glass, you just want to rub it on really, really good and be extra careful when you are taking the transfer tape if you are using uh, vinyl from a Cricut. And then the, you want to do the same steps uh, for the remaining three frames. So now you want to get your etching cream out and you are going to use a nylon brush to generously apply the cream to the glass. And naturally you want to make sure that you apply it evenly.
and just like before, you want to repeat this for the other three glass pieces. So now you are going to follow the manufacturer's instructions for how long to keep it on. When the time is up, you want to wash the cream off and then take off the vinyl or stickers. And I would recommend washing it again just to make sure that there's no etching cream left. So when all four glass pieces are done, they will look something like this. You can see they are mostly frosted, but where the snowflakes were, they are still crystal clear. So now you want to carefully remove the tabs. I learned the hard way to use pliers. Um, I ended up cutting myself, so please be extremely careful if you decide not to use pliers, but we want to remove those tabs. So now we are going to move the other frames to the side. And we want to bring over our hot glue gun and get it ready by plugging it in. Once it's ready to go, then you can start gluing the inside rim of the frame. This will be for when we glue the glass into the frame. So now we're going to take the glass and we want to make sure that the matte or etched side is facing towards the outside of the frame. The shiny part that we didn't etch should be facing you. And if needed, then you can remove any extra glue. So now we are going to repeat those same steps for the remaining three frames. So now that the prep work is done, we can start putting it all together. So here I'm just sizing up and figuring out where exactly I want to place it. So you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to glue one of the edges of the frame. Then you're going to attach this to the second frame on the back right up against the edge. So you want a nice clean corner. And you want to be sure to hold them together until your glue has cooled and they are stable.
So now you're going to glue the edge of the third frame. This is the long edge, by the way, and you are going to do the same thing, but on the other side. So now you should have a U. You see, we just want to put that real close to the edge, but on the back. I went ahead and zoomed out so that you can get a better look for this last piece. So you are going to glue both of the edges of the U that are sticking up. And you want to be as precise as you possibly can with this. When putting this last piece on, you want to be careful to line up the edges. You want to make sure that the pieces of the U are toward each of the edges. Once again, you just want to stabilize that and hold it until the glue cools. And that's it, you're done. Congratulations, you now have this beautiful centerpiece. Thank you for joining me today. If you're interested in more crafting videos, then please hit the subscribe button below. See you next time.